Welcome back to Pet Talk. Remember Dooley, this beautiful new fee, and Iggy, this very stylish water dog. They were dancing up a storm on our disco special just a few months back. Well, they're back with us today with their dancing shoes off and their school gear on. That's right, they're both taking part in a wonderful new program called Pause to Relax at UConn's Library. Let's find out more from Mom Laurel Rapschutz and Joanne Reynolds. And we're so glad to have you all here. This is really a very exciting and different program. And uh, it, we usually talk about dogs going into libraries and helping younger children read. But in this case, we're talking about older students. And I'm going to start with you, Laurel, because yeah. most of us, of our viewers here, and most of us are used to seeing you and your dog is out there on the dance floor. You're really wearing a different hat here. That's right. Different hat, different costume. Uh, <laughs> this is all about using animals and animal-assisted activities. And Dooley and Iggy are both registered with the Delta Society to do this kind of work. You know, we think about going to nursing homes with the dogs. We think about doing things with kids as far as read programs or school programs. But nobody really was doing anything with college students. And the college students are pretty much just like the elderly as far as they're away from home. They're in an institution. They've had to leave pets behind. Um, and so they really do appreciate having the dogs come in and visit. I bet they do. I mean, how did you guys come up with this concept? It's in the library. It's in the library. It's in the Yukon Library on the Storrs campus. And it's actually one of my colleagues who was wishing one day, says, you know, I really wish we could bring in therapy dogs during finals. And I'm thinking, we could make that happen. No problem. And we got the appropriate uh, permissions. And um, we signed up people for slots. And we were off and running. It's and, fantastic. And, and people just loved it. The whole, the whole tone of the library during finals weeks just takes on a different, more relaxed atmosphere. Uh, it's a very stressful time. There's a lot of data that shows the amount of stress that college students go through during finals week. And bringing in the animals, there's a visible difference in them and they're, they're ever so appreciative. I, I get emails and people stop me and thank you for doing this. You don't know how much this means to me. I miss my dog so much back ah. home. We have two stations set up uh, throughout the library um, that are specifically designated where the therapy dogs would, are going to be so that if there's any students who are afraid of dogs or who are allergic to dogs, they don't have to go right. near them. It doesn't have to interfere with their studying. So we've got them on very public areas um, where there's lots of room around them because sometimes we have as many as 30, 40 kids surrounding the dogs all trying to get a pad in. And they come and they sit and the owners talk to the kids and the kids pet the dogs. We have all different breeds come. We have Labradors, mm. we have German Shepherds. That's Dooley's right. the rock star. Uh, I mean, they, Dooley <laughs> comes and when's Dooley coming back? <laughs> Did they ever see him dance? And they really be like, oh. We usually try to put in a few moves while we're there Once for in entertainment. Um, but it is, it's great. The students come in and they, sometimes they're just there for a quick you know, a little scratch on the head and just kind of a little relief. But some kids really just settle in for longer sessions, just want to kind of Aww. hug the dogs. And uh, some dogs are leaners and huggers, and other <laughs> dogs do tricks for the kids. That's and, great. Uh, some are lickers, probably. Yeah. Yeah. Some are droolers. <laughs> some some are snippers. <laughs> so um, how can folks get involved, and how can they um, get in touch with you guys? Because I'm sure a lot of uh, parents maybe out there might want to tell their kids or kids get involved or people mm -hmm. with dogs get involved. I think probably the best way would be if someone wants to participate with a registered therapy dog in the program to send me an email at jo underscore Reynolds, R-E-Y-N-O-L-D-S, at UConn, U-C-O-N-N, dot E-D-U. And um, I can give them information about the program and set them up in the schedule, that which is coming up. We'll do one for finals in December. We really highly, highly recommend that if you're going to use a dog for any kind of activity like this in a public facility, that your dog does get registered through one of the national registrations. And there are registrations such as the Delta Society, Therapy Dog Internationals, mm -hmm. Therapy Dog Inc. And many of these organizations have local chapters. These organizations will test the animal to make sure that the animal is controllable, is predictable, has basic social skills around people and around other animals, and that they're able to be comfortable like these dogs are here in the studio. Of course, you're involved in this in so many different mm. things, and hopefully you're going to come back on the show and also dance again. Oh, I'm sure we will. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Wonderful program, and our viewers can get in touch with you. So thank you both, and you too, uh, <laughs> for being here.